Hello everyone, so today I want to teach you how you can play like Sensasi, um, uh, Sova on Haven, and I'm going over his game from DRX. So, basically, um, he uses a lot of good utility that I want to teach you, and the first thing I'll be going over is three drone pathings, each for one of the sites. Now, the drone for A, usually a lot of times it's going to be used to clear sewers, Take and so... You want to get the drone through here, basically. Try and get it drone. as far as possible, so you don't have to flick too much. And you get to those two corners. Now you can come up over this box. You can see that corner, see graffiti, and get a good look onto back site there for a second. You could also it's start like the drone pathing from here, which is preferable because you get more time. You could check that corner, get under you, and get a good look onto behind the box. Another thing he will do is on lower buy rounds. When they have Take this flight. space, he'll come and drone up here. And look at this, you get a look at the whole site. You get back site, you get long, and you even get hell. So that's the drone you want to know for the A site as playing Sova. Now if you come over here towards B site, um, he popped it from over right here. here. But personally, I prefer the drone here. So when you're coming to B site, drone. you can pop the drone. Get over there, come up to back site. And you get a view of all of it. You want to try and get it as high as possible. So you can get a look all over here. Get a look over all of back site. And yeah. So those are the really good drones for those two sites. And for C, usually what you'll see Sova's drone. Is you'll drone out long to go for the op. You can check Cubby if you entry late in the round. Get a close at this left corner. And he's going to be looking for cypher trips a lot. So when you're droning C, Deploying you're drone. usually going to be looking for cypher trips. Like this. So your role as Sova is to get um pad, like very slow recon info for your team and set them up with darts and you can even use shock darts to get good damage in. Now, we're going to be going over some darts he uses. So on a B exec, you can see him right just hitting the back wall and he throws a dart like this. Now, I'm going to be showing you a better dart you can use as a solo player. So, if you're pushing B like Sentinels decide to do, you just go up to this wall, move like this. And you just want to aim in the middle of this bar right here, and then do full power. Standing ahead. And you'll get a dart right there. And this is a very optimal dart. It's like a god dart for B almost. So, instead of throwing the, like, uh, Standing just ahead. the eye it dart like that. You can throw a dart like this by just being even with this wall, walking up, and then just throwing the it area. in the middle like that. And you should get a good dart that scans all of this. So that's the dart for B I wanted to show you. Um, I just found this one on my own. I saw Saucy throw his dart. It like, wasn't anything fancy. He just eyed it. So I think this is a... If you just want to eye a dart, that's a really good one, as it gets pretty much all of the B site for you. Now, A is where Saucy dominates. So there's a lot of darts we need to go over. The first one is the short dart. Now for the short dart, what you want to do is you want to look at this line here. And you want to just put your crosshair pretty much in the middle of right here, here and here. And align it with this line right here. Full power, two no bounces. Area. And this is something he'll use a lot. This dart will literally get anyone walking up. If you shoot it at the start of the round. So this is a dart that Sassy will shoot at the start of the round to get that early info. Standing ahead. Prevents anybody from pushing up. I'm not sure if a neon can beat this timing by sliding, but you will hear it, right? If you're moving into lobby, you will hear that neon sliding there. So this dart will allow you to clear out anyone here it's very good on their low buys where people will tend to try and push there with a shotgun or try and go for a quick sheriff peek especially the jets who think they can just dash out now there's another dart you can kind of do from short so you get up on this second ledge here and you aim at the bottom of this little leg revealing you the power like that and this will land right up here and it will scan anyone trying to walk down now please be wary that this can be timed by getting into this corner but if you call that to your teammates they can come and they can be wary of this corner and someone playing there so like for example if they had someone in the op on the enemy team they could be posted in a very uh, like close angle like this but it's very easy to section out especially if you combine that with a drone so that is the second dart so we went over the short dart there. 
this is now the second dart um you want to learn just aim at the bottom leg here standing power, ahead no bounces boom now i want to go over a dart for um just long in general so you can just uh he did this exactly in the game i'm pretty sure he jumped up here he aims at the bottom of this like little section here and he does one revealing one. area i might have been a little bit too powerful aim like right, right here. here revealing area and now this dart is important because if they try and push out they're screwed right and they have to come all the way out here to break it themselves so they're gonna need a teammate here to break it for them if they want to push out like this and take any space and if they're on an off angle here they're going to get pinged they need to turn around and while they're turning around well you get a free shot on them so that's a very good dart you can do for long if you just do the um normal dart i don't know exactly which it is i think it might be for here and like here scanning ahead yeah, if you do this normal dart, they can easily just stand back and break it while not being exposed. But if you use Saucy's dart that he used against DRX, just aim here. Standing bar, ahead. It forces them, if they want to get on this angle, they have to turn around in the open space. So they're going to need a teammate with them to break that. Okay. So that's the short dart. We've also got the two short darts and we've got the long dart. Now I want to go on to a sight dart that I can teach you. Now, Saucy uses a different dart. However, this is one I personally use. So, you see the little mountain crevice right here where there's like an opening. I'm just gonna one bar. It. Area. And this dart is going to land right there and it scans pretty much all of sight. Very high up though. Um, you can probably find an even better dart, but I like this one because, yeah, it's just quite easy to do. Let me see if you can even get a better Scanning one. ahead. No, that is not any better, but yeah, you can just aim at the mountain crevice like this And you can number ahead Dart for sight lands right up here and scans pretty much all of it so Yeah, that is one that saucy um didn't use directly, but it's a good sight dart now This next thing that I'm going to show you is if you have ult So basically what saucy did is he kind of went up here and I made my own lineup so basically, you want to shoot an early dart that lands up in sight from here. So what I did is I aimed a dart so that when you jump, you basically... So first off, you want to get under the second one. So one, two. And then you want to just jump through the dart while like aiming at the leaves right there. Revealing area. And it lands like that. Scans all of sight. And basically the whole point of this is to get a fast lobby dart while your team pushes up. So your team is pushing up right now. And in the meantime, revealing area. you're just going for an ult. All that, rolls into things while your team is pushing. And basically that's gonna allow for a very easy attacking round if you can um, pull that off. So you just wanna calm your teammates, hey, I'm going for um, an ult and I'm going, I'm gonna do, go for a scan and I'm gonna ult off scan if you guys wanna push up. While they're jumping around in sight, get them easy frags, you can do it. And on that round in the game, you can see that Zekin literally slid in while they were mid-air and annihilated the DRX players. So yeah. Now we're going to move on to the defensive round. And once again, this is mainly going to be an A side. It's actually going to be fully A side because in ranked, especially for you solo players, you want to be here. You want to be here, right? Now, this first dart I want to go over is just something you can use for um, clearing a main. So this is Sova, right? The first, you get pressured off of um, this angle up here with the early aggression. Now, if they want, if they go silent, Sova's, you need to do something. You can't just sit here. If you have a dart, fucking shoot this shit. I would honestly just shoot Standing it right ahead. here. Are they long? That should scan long. If you want, you can even go drone. for a drone to see if they are long. Just go for a little drone here and get this out they could tuck here so if possible i mean if you're on this angle you shouldn't need the drone you could just hold like a tight off angle like this but they're not really gonna shoot you and you can see oh okay someone crossed and then you can just fall back you know so it's like as a sober player you want to be very 
proactive with your use ahead. If they're going silent and no one's getting anything anywhere, just get area. a dart out there, see if they're long, and you can kind of deduce where they are from there. So that's the first thing. Now, obviously starting off the rounds as a solo player, you're going to be here a lot. So this is a lineup I like to do to scan a main. So you're going to aim right here at this box, go two bars, full power. Revealing area. And it's going to land right up there and it's going to scan them. Now, if they keep breaking it, you can literally just run out. Shoot this dart. Ahead. That's another dart that Saucy will do. But those Revealing are the two area. I saw him use in the match. I don't know if he used this exact lineup, but this is a form of the lineup where you just Revealing do this. Area. Lands up there, and yeah, you get pings off of it. But if they're breaking Scanning it ahead. consistently, just literally jump through this, you know? Just jump, jump area. through it. And then when you do these darts, if they don't push fast, sometimes Saucy will literally just Shock combine that. a shock. Store a shock in there, you Shock know? That. Could they be like that? Could be like a weak bounce, you know? Just something like that to get a little bit of chip damage. That's something he will do. And then once again, I showed you the drone. Take and flight. Just drone out long, see if there's any presence. That's something that Saucy will do. He'll just drone out long and scout for any presence. Now, this next lineup is another one of those ult things. So if you want to go for control here, you want to just walk up to the shadow the same way as the last and just creep forward until you see these leaves. Aim in the middle, scroll bar it, and then ult off that. My ult is good. Against lobby. You see anything there? Um, ult off it, just ult the scans. That's what you can do. So I'll show you the lineup once again. You can just walk up until you see the leaves. Revealing air. I am the hunter. My ult is ready. Ult scans. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. So I think those are the darts I wanted to show you for here. Now there are some drones you want to know for retaking. Um, this is the first one. Literally just making sure you use your drones before you guys come in as a team. You can literally drone up, get graffiti, get a look at hell, get a look at default, get a little bit of a peek at short. So that's a drone you want to know. And then there's also a heaven drone. Which literally, you might want to come back here the to avoid drone. spam. But in general, I like the to use drone. drone from here. Get a good look all of graffiti, get a little bit of look at default, get a good look there. A little bit of a look short as well. Now, um, Saucy, he didn't really have any retake darts from what I've seen because this is a site you usually fight to die for. But you know in ranked tower, you'll be um, smoked off, right? So what Sobas will usually do when they're smoked off, right, just come yeah. here when they're planting, in the dark. box, just throw shock darts. Dark. So normally there'd be a smoke here, right? Like Omen's really the meta on this map, right? Maybe sometimes Clove in your ranked games. Just literally ping right these triple boxes right and just shoot shock darts off them when they're planting. Literally free damage. You might even get a kill shock off of dark. it. But you're going to set your team up greatly for later in the round if you um, shoot those shock darts. Okay? And um, there is also another drone pathing path I want to show you that Saucy uses. When they're coming B, right? And you're A lane. It's very smart to drone this out. Just because people like when you when you get B right, it's not usually a site where you want to just stay enclosed. Usually they'll push right for here. this, or maybe they'll crunch right it by pushing this and having someone late garage, or right they'll push here. a link, or right they'll here. just play for spam here. It's never something where people are just gonna fully play the site. So it's very, it's very, I don't like droning from here, just because there's a possibility of getting spammed. Take I like flight. to drone from the safety of here, and you just drone on all this space, and if you get the chance, you can get a quick look on the site, you know? So, yeah, it's a pretty smart drone to use. The last thing I will show you from Saucy that I have learned is that when the enemy team has something like a breach ult, possibly, or anything like that, Kid and Odin, man, get off the site. There's gonna be smokes up. You can literally just right ping here. this, maybe even combine like a random Standing dart ahead. with this. There's gonna be a smoke up heaven. Gun that angle down, man. And then another thing that Saucy likes to do is he likes to come over here. See this door right, right here. here? You can ping right a here. lobby. Sewer. 
So yeah, the Odin can be very powerful in that aspect. So yeah, you can see the bullets that are going through. There we go on the other side, you can see the bullets there. So even through the wall. That, you know? So yeah, that's what I've learned from Saucy, and that is how he played against DRX. If you want more videos, um, I will be covering the EDG matches. We will be doing Simon on the Fade on Bind, and we will be doing Nobody on the Sova on Sunset. But if you have any requests for even a duelist player, Sentinel, Controller, let me know. Or even the Flash Initiators, because personally, me myself, I play Sova and Fade right now on all the maps. And... You know, so I'm just covering agents that are very beneficial for me, and I'm sharing the info I learned. But if you have any requests, let me know, and I can get to it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you were able to learn um, from what I've taught.